This was the past and now we are here in a super strong country called Germany. I'm really thankful to born in this rich country and it gives me a lot of opportunities in life but for people who really want to go here for searching for opportunities, for studying, for working or whatever. I know that these people never consider the negative side so I really want to make this video um, that you can make sure if Germany is the place for you to go or not or how is it really to live in Germany. For this reason I started a survey on Instagram around 100 native Germans gave me a lot of answers, so thank you for this incredible response. So let's do this, a video about how is it to live in a stable, economic, strong country. We have problems, but our problems are more made in our minds, like personal issues. So I want to let you know about the, the coin. I always say there are two sides of the coin, the good one and the bad one. So let's go. First of all, it was really interesting. I asked my followers on Instagram, hey, do you enjoy living in Germany? One case was for I love it. One case was I don't love it so much. So around 59%, 300 people voted for I love it. 40% said, hmm. Not that much. But even more interesting for me is I asked can you imagine to um, get a new residence somewhere else and leave Germany one day. And around 66% said yes. This is surprisingly high for me and um, gives me a good reflection about my opinion which has something to do with this pyramid but I'm going to this point later in this video. After traveling around 19 months around the globe with my backpack, I know that people have a high opinion about Germans and we are welcome in the most places of the world, maybe beside our friends. So why is it that people really like Germans, they have a high opinion about us and a lot of them even consider to make a living in Europe, especially in Germany because it's one of the most strongest countries in Europe. So. Is it really the light of the end of the tunnel? As most people of you know, I spent the last nine months in the Latin American country around Mexico, Colombia, Ecuador, whatever. And always if I say to these people, I don't have a residence anymore in Germany and I try to make a living abroad, they're really shocked and really can't understand why should a German leave this great country. So for this reason, I want to make this video and have in mind everyone is individual and there are two sides of the coin and for me I know which side of the coin uh, weight more or is more important for me for life. So by watching this video and listen to all the comments from the German have this in mind and try to figure out what is, what is more important for you. I asked another question to the Germans on Instagram what they appreciate the most of the living in Germany. So what is the best of living in Germany? Overall the most say comment was safety. We Germans have a big issue with safety. Nothing can be safe enough for us. So safety is and uh, was definitely the biggest point of all my followers they made. Another point was definitely there is no crime in Germany. It's absolutely safe. You have a lot of opportunities to reach your goals and achieve something in life even when you come from a poor family. High education, education is not expensive. I mean it's free to one point and it's definitely not expensive to study and there's a lot of support by the government. We have a social system so even if you fail in life the system is begging you up, it's helping you, you're never ending up in, yeah, in a really bad condition. Of course another fact is our economy is strong so our income is high so we can afford a lot of material goods, a lot of luxes, a lot of comfort comes with it and we, we don't even recognize all these products, all these luxes that we can literally buy most things we want. That's another pretty big thing. Um, in general the word for it would be prosperity in Germany definitely a thing. Another thing which I really learned to appreciate is reliability. If a German says a word, German keeps the word, German Germans are punctual so and high effic efficient um, which is really nice. If you're in the supermarket it just goes fast and fast and fast. You don't wait a half an hour for three people. So this is something I really learned to appreciate. Germans keeping the word, Germans uh, they have a high reliability. Another good thing is our healthcare system. If you have an accident the emergency 
car is really quick there our hospitals are great we have yeah great doctors so you never need to worry uh, the social system is backing up so healthcare is incredibly good there's nothing to complain about this same for the infrastructure for our autobahn for the freeway <laughs> Um, a lot of people mentioned this as you might know Germany is the last country without speed limit on our freeways so you really can drive 300 kilometers per hour which is great and I don't want to miss this and they are pretty empty and it's pretty easy and fast to drive 10 hours from the south to the north of Germany it's a lot of comfort you I mean in a few years you will put the car on auto mode and yeah just drive without um, any issues mountains cars big um, problems or constructions on the road. Another thing would be definitely for me tap water. You can drink the water. Water quality is high everywhere. Last big point would be peace and democracy. Yes, we have a democracy even if there's a lot of things wrong with our politi politic compared or after spending time in South America. I'm really thankful to live <laughs> in a um, actually working democracy and peace and nothing to worry about uh, about it really. So in general fact we can say it's prosperity, luxury stuff, infrastructure and safety nurse. So let's put this pyramid back in the picture. The first two stages as you can see definitely big 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 hit in Germany. Yeah you really fulfill the first most important two big stages for the pyramid of life needs. But what is with the higher stages? Of the pyramid let's go and get to the contra points so let's start with what the most people said it's definitely the mentality a negative mentality for the average German nothing is ever good enough it's never enough so you are never really happy it's like a consistently unhappiness because you don't appreciate what you have you just want more Another thing most Germans say it is the own mentality. So we consider our mentality as cold, as distance, not warmth and really conservative with a, how we Germans um, used to say with a stick in the ass and this is absolutely true. Our mentality is super distance, is super cold, it's definitely the opposite of warmth, especially if you can uh, if you spend a lot of time in the Latin countries, this was for me the same, the biggest culture difference. It's really shocking and surprising me to be back in Germany. Everyone is looking on the ground, no one is talking to you, no one is smiling, no one is laughing. Um, if I go around the street and I look at the people, I, I mean, this is not like the daily life. Of course you find happy people on the streets. But if I talk or if I need to, to make a line um, compared with a Latin country, if I go to a supermarket in Latin America or if I go to a supermarket in Germany, I can definitely yeah, pull this line. Before I forget, <laughs> probably the most negative point of Germany we cannot even change is our weather. Our weather is a piece of shit, let's be honest, from October to April. It's pretty much sure that there's a lot of darkness, not enough light, it's raining a lot, it's cold, it's freezing, um, it's dark, it's cloudy, so um, there's definitely not much joy to find with the weather. Um, everyone is waiting for the summer, but then even for the summer you never know if the summer will be great, means like 20 to 30 degree sun, blue sky and yeah, yeah, I mean like spending days at the beach, at the lake with friends, you know, with beer and having just a summer because summer in Germany is definitely um, one of the best places you can, yeah, you can be for summer because on the peak you have daylight until 11 p.m. and the vibe, the temperature just feels great. So if you have a good summer, if you have a good summer in Germany, it's incredible to be here. I'm not gonna lie. But the, the best time to be in summer or to be sure that in Germany will be a good weather condition is around June to September. But as I already said, you never know what will happen uh, finally in summer of Germany. And then maybe one year is not a good summer and everyone's disappointed because everyone knows the next half year is the winter coming again. So. 
put this um, cold and distance mentality together with a bad weather condition for a half year and you know that after the winter it really feels kind of depressing or super depressing um, around January, February, March. If you have other, other opinion, let's write it in the comments, have a chat about it. I'm really interested about it because I still, yeah, fight with both sides of the coin of living in Germany. Yeah, another thing people say a lot is Germans are moaning a lot. The, yeah, it's consistently not, not enough, so there's always something wrong with something. Um, that's definitely another true thing. I started laughing as I saw this comment. Uh, our mentality is like work hard or die. <laughs> This is uh, another thing actually true. Our work mentality is definitely not super healthy, not super balanced. It's definitely high efficiently. We are optimized. We are like robots uh, because we have the industry and that's where the money is coming from. And that's why uh, everyone has a high opinion, opinion about Germans and this brand made in Germany means something on this planet, but it is coming together with the mentality of yeah, we need to work hard, being super efficiently and to being happy in, uh, in work is not really a fact. So there are a lot of people in Germany, of course you have the opportunities, so they're hunting for the next title, for more money, to spending more money on material things they maybe don't even need um, and searching for joy. But maybe not, not for everyone this joy is coming or to find in this products. Especially when I compare it with Latin America where it's efficiently definitely not a word in the Duden. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're waiting in the supermarket a half an hour, uh, you have a date and yeah, she is like two hours too late and not even saying a big sorry. So um, it's definitely nice uh, to, yeah, to have the reliability in Germany, but it comes with a big issue um, that we are really stressed most time and yeah so same for this there are two sides of two sides of the coin um, but in general yeah maybe this is my personal opinion but to give you an understanding why is our mentality work hard or die <laughs> um, I think it's because of you know what happens to Germany after the war history we were ground zero and our uh, old the old Germans, they really built, built all the wealth up from zero again. So they needed to work hard to build wealth. My grandma and my grandpa even started in their childhood with, with not much. So they, they started with not much and most of them ended up now with pretty a big amount of money or uh, wealthy. So if they worked hard, um, they had the opportunity to get wealthy. So yeah, they really needed to work hard to achieve their goals. Um, so this is until now the mentality of, I would say, stereotype more old German people. I would, I think we all would agree um, when we speak about the stereo German mentality, um, it doesn't mean something good because it's more conservative and like not happy. And especially this happens for the old generation. Of course, I think that's the same everywhere in the, in the, in the world. Young generation is always changing. I call my generation the rainbow generation because we don't know war and we just born uh, in a wealthy country so we don't we don't have this uh, work hard or die mentality we just um, search for new solutions um, like me with uh, this digital nomad lifestyle I go there where I got three the best and where I feel good. So finally, that's like the pro and the contra side. Um, there are other points on the contra sides like bureaucracy, bureaucracy um, tax. We have the highest tax rate in Germany. Um, of course, politic. But as I already said, at least we have the de democracy. We have um, stupid politics as well. Um, they they <laughs> they really burn the money, the tax money. Um, um, we our social system is definitely um, too big. Like uh, is is backing up too many people for not working but this is another point I don't want to uh, speak about um, this in this video. The last point on the contra side I want to make is our society is definitely an envy society which is um, kind of sad. So last point it was also a comment but I totally agree with it. Most Germans are not lively, not really feeling alive and mostly in a 
bad mood. So let's end up with this and write in the comments if you agree or if I missed a big thing on the pro or contra side, just text, uh, make, it, make a comment and write it below. So I talked about a lot of things in this video, but wrap it up. Um, on the contra side, the two stages of the pyramid on the ground means, yeah, food, water, warmth, um, security, safety, definitely in Germany you can find all of this. That's probably why um, people are from unstable country, countries with less opportunities want to come to Germany to achieve at least um, yeah, the ground of the pyramid because it's not everywhere in the world to find. So, But as soon as you are born here and you have it like you have um, let's say a financial strong position, you have the safety, you are born in it, so you don't really appreciate it because it's just normal for you, that's everywhere to every time, safe, and you have enough food, you don't need to worry about anything pretty much. So then it comes to the next point, to the higher points of the pyramids, which is the blue point. I mean, don't let's, uh, let us talk about friends, family, um, you can pretty much find them everywhere and build them up uh, new. I mean, it's just need time, but um, this is not depending on um, the place, I would say. Um, so let's start with the blue point. Uh, X team needs prestige and feeling of accomplished things, which is definitely um, like a luxus, like material things or or uh, even the mentality, the feeling, the vibe you have to live somewhere. The last point is self-actualization. In German, Selbstverwirklichung. Means the things most important for you in life that you try to reach these goals to fulfill yourself. Um, if it's a p passion um, or whatever it is, um, yeah, you can be creative and try to reach these things. So in the end, funny fact, I agree definitely with both sides of all the comments from the native Germans. So the pro arguments are totally 100% true and the negative arguments are 100% true as well. So for me as someone um, born in this place and I already have the first stages of the pyramids, I can think about, yeah, Selbstverwirklichung, self Um you know what I mean. So, and this I don't find for myself, at least at this point in Germany. So, I go to another country where I have better weather because weather and sun is important for me. It gives me a lot of energy and that brings me automatically in a better mood. I go to, to a place where people are more open in general, where they are more warmth. Uh, Herzlichkeit, which I definitely find in the Latin countries and where I find more joy and happiness, less stress and just a better mentality, less conservative, more people feeling freedom and alive. <sighs> yeah, so that's why I'm, I started my personal digital nomad movement um, because I don't find the things I really want or I appreciate the most right now in Germany. I have the first stages of the pyramid, so I'm trying to fulfill the last stages of the living pyramids of my living needs and that's why I decided um, to quit, I don't know, can I say, to quit my residence in Germany and to search for a new residence or for a new place to live. Yeah, if I think about Colombia, which I am trying, as you know, to make a living in 2022 in Medellin, because I absolutely fall in love with this incredible, innovative, green, high quality of life living city without a lot of security. Um, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a try because I really don't want to be that my life is boring. That's why my channel means Explore Life, by the way. Ex um, give this channel a subscribe for future travels and for yeah future living in Colombia. I'm gonna keeping you updating um, how it is going, um, the, all the process. So thank you to watch this video and let me know what you think about. Um, did I did this video help you? Because um, yeah, nobody sees what is under the ice rock. I mean, the ice rock of Germany is definitely. Hey, we are rich. We are strong country, education is good, um, healthcare system is good, so it's definitely a good place to grow up child, um, because 
yeah, they grew up well with a lot of opportunities. But as soon you reached um, a lot of this, you're thinking about something else. Um, last of it, this comment, a Mexican guy um, texted me on Instagram. He lived 10 years in Germany and now he moved again to Mexico because of all the points I yeah, talked about this video, um, he said, like, safety is not even uh, the biggest point for me anymore. It's about the life quality, about other points, about the contra points of Germany he wanted to avoid. Thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope I see you in the next video. Let me know what you think. Really, um, this is an interesting um, topic to speak about for me because I still have this inner fight about, hey, what are really the problems with Germany? Because I came back here, I had all the luxes, all the comfort. I was shocked, positive shocked. I was like, dude, do you really want to miss out all of these luxes? But then after a week, the luxus, the luxury life can just be normal and all the other issues um, coming around me. And I feel like, hey, this is not really making me happy. So let's move on and I'm on the right way for me. Let's at least that's what I really um, got from my short period of being back in Germany that I'm on a good way. Um, yeah, and I found the way of living I want to live. Hope you learned something of this video. Bye.